This video is inspired by DIY Perks' Build a DIY Screen Out of Recycled Parts for Cheap video. Go check his video out and also his channel. Go subscribe to him. Links will be in the description. Let's get on with it. Unlike desktops, laptop users generally have to stick to the single screen. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this DIY portable monitor. Now as this monitor is extremely thin and light, it is ideal for laptops as it is portable and can be carried around. I didn't just build this monitor as a secondary monitor for my MacBook Pro, but instead I built it especially for this Acer Aspire 5600 which had a cracked screen so I took it off. There will be a video coming soon so subscribe so you don't miss it. Now the first thing you will need to build this monitor is an old screen. You could get this from an old laptop, but I bought this for spares or repairs. To remove the screen from an old laptop, you need to unscrew the plastic bezel, pop it off, and unscrew the screws for the screen, including the hinge screws. When you have the panel, you need to look at the back for the model number and then you need to type this into eBay with the phrase control board after it. This gives you loads of results so sort it price lowest PMP first so you get the best result. This control board is the heart of the build as it has every single port you would want for your monitor. The cool thing about mine is it came with a remote even though I don't use it much I guess it could be useful for some people. Mine annoyingly has this blue row of pixels, but I don't mind. Now you have your control board, we can start working on the casing. The casing is very important, as these screens can be very fragile and flexible. To do this, I got some 6mm MDF and cut it down to size. As you can see, I've cut a small groove for the backlight cable. Now you can drill some mounting holes for the control board, but these holes will need to be countersunk so the monitor fits flush against them later on. We want it to look cool at the end, so I have this vinyl wrap that mimics carbon fibre so it changes depending on the angle you look at it. There will be a link to this in the description. This can now be stuck to the board using a card to flatten out all of the bubbles. As this wrap covers the mounting holes, we will need to poke through with a sharp point and then screw the screws in from the other side. You can now tighten some short PCB standoffs onto the screws. And now the main control board, the backlight panel and the LED panel can all be mounted. They can all be mounted with female PCB standoffs, but as mine weren't quite long enough, I had to add a male to female one as well. Now we can mount the button board but this time securing it with some nuts. We can now get a small piece of wood to cover the circuitry, first covering it in vinyl and then screwing it into the PCB standoffs. We can now use some strong glue, in my case Gorilla Glue, and stick down the sides of the vinyl wrap. Once the glue is dried, get a knife and cut off the excess wrap. Now we can stick on the screen using some strong glue to make sure it never comes off. Once the glue is dry we are now going to add some masking tape. This is because we are now going to add some more glue and put some strips of vinyl along the edges. And now we can trim the excess vinyl with a Stanley knife. The masking tape makes sure that no glue strays onto the screen. And now the monitor is nearly complete, except we need some way to stand it up. We can do this by either recycling the old hinges, which what DIY Perks did, so go check his video out if you would like to do that. Or you could do what I'm going to show you, which is cut a triangular piece out of MDF and hinge it to the back. So first you will need to cut this sort of shape out of MDF so it gets wider at the bottom. And now we can cover it in vinyl so it matches the rest of the monitor. Then we can screw the hinges into this piece of wood at the top where it gets narrower. And then we can drill some mounting holes for the hinges wherever you want them. 
Now we can screw the hinges into those holes we just drilled. And now we need to add a piece of string to stop it going back all the way. Now I glued this in at first but then stapled it as the glue started to pull the vinyl wrap off. So I would advise stapling it instead of gluing it. And now the monitor is complete. You just need to plug your computer into the monitor using VGA or HDMI and connect the 12 volt power supply needed for your board. And if you would like to power the monitor itself from the computer or laptop, you can watch DIY Perks' video and he will show you how to. I didn't do this even though I would have loved to because I couldn't find an extender for the laptop that would match. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.